Hello Internet, this is Whispering Wim doing a Bobcat in a Box unboxing video. <laughs> For those who maybe haven't heard of it before, Bobcat in a Box is a um, shopping program, a uh, subscription program, um, where instead of, you know, having one single like curated box, there's a program that will look at the keywords that you set and the budget you give it and what your preferred amount of packages are is in a month <laughs> um, and then it'll go off and, and buy things you know usually pretty inexpensive trinkets and um, I've gotten a wide variety of things from this program and it has been um, fun you know I've kind of gotten maybe a little more like junk than useful items, but the whole process is fun because you get these mystery packages, right? Because it doesn't tell you what it bought. And because they're individual packages, they just start showing up at your doorstep, right? Um, so it was a lot of fun. But I have been doing it for a while now, and I've played with the keywords as much as I have wanted to. Um, and I think I'm just ready to move on. But we do have quite a few here. So it's kind of like a Bobcat in a Box season finale, right? <laughs> I think I counted 18 different packages in here, uh, which is good. It means I get to talk to you for a lot longer, right? Um, and it probably means that we're going to come across a couple of really good items that'll make me slightly regret canceling my subscription. <laughs> but I could always start it back up again sometime. Uh, yeah. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump right in here because I have a lot and lot of packages to go through. My uh, favorite, favorite part about all of this is kind of... Um, like everything but the stuff inside. I love seeing where it came from and what they think it's valued at and trying to guess what I've got here. So this first one, I can't quite tell where it's from. Um, it says Yuxon number 718 South, uh, Chengdian Road. So but I don't see what country, unless Yuxan is a country. Hmm, I really need to brush up on my geography. The description of the contents is connectors, so that leaves a lot <laughs> for the imagination to guess on. And the US value is $1.28. That is a interesting value. It's worth $1.28. Any guesses what kind of connectors these might be? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, I mean, I suppose that's a connector in a sense. Uh, this is a um, little jewelry, would you call it a bead? I guess maybe connector is a good word. <laughs> and it looks like there are Sort of a variety of places you could kind of hook it up in. So like, you know, if you could string it this way and maybe have like a dangly bit there or perhaps the same thing this way. <laughs> uh, it's not exactly my aesthetic, but they are useful. I'm sure at some point I could figure out something to use those little knots. They almost look like, I know it's not a Celtic knot, but that's the first thing that comes to mind, sort of a very ornate weaving in and out uh, pattern, right? So they're kind of cool. I'm not, I'm not disappointed with that one. So it's a good start, but it's not a I regret canceling kind of a start. <laughs> and again, if you haven't tried Bobcat in a Box before, and you have the money to spend on something silly and fun, it's not bad. The first, I'd say like the first six months of it is very, very entertaining. Uh, but it does peter out, at least 
it did for me, right? <laughs> um, and our next item is from China. The description is a silicone mold, so that's pretty straightforward. And this one is valued at three whole dollars. They think very highly of this mold. <laughs> um, well, that is just interesting. So it's not a silicone mold in what I was thinking. Um, I do get a fair amount of, um, you know, like actual like mold molds that you can put for chocolates or clay work. Um, but these look like little snails that are preformed. Okay, so here's one of the snails. Um, so it's not really a mold. Maybe it fits into a mold piece somehow. It's almost like a clip, but it's not very strong. I really don't know what precisely you would do with that. Huh. I may not know what to do with it, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's cool. It looks like it was designed with intent. <laughs> and the colors are fun. I'll have to research. But any idea what these little, like, snail clips that aren't very clippy? Any idea what those could be for? <laughs> Next up, looks like we have some lobster claws. Um, and this is from that same company that did the uh, first package with the jewelry pieces. So I imagine these are going to be, you know, those little like the end part to a necklace that hooks on to um, the, the backside. And that is indeed what it is, although these are kind of larger ones, so maybe more for a keychain or like a zipper pull, um, little charms, so fun stuff like that. I bet you actually my friend who is the resin artist, you've probably heard me mention her many many times because I, uh, <laughs> I save a lot of this stuff to give to her because she'll just, she makes lots of jewelry and like she can take things and kind of embed them in the resin, so glitter and all of that. It has a, has a use, which, which I'm grateful for, right? I hate the idea that I'm just ordering a bunch of junk, and then it's going to sit around until it gets thrown out, and then it'll live at the uh, landfill for the rest of eternity. <laughs> so it's really good when she can use some of this. But anyways, she kind of does a, like combo deal because she often makes like little pendants you know kind of resin pieces that are maybe about yay big and she can never commit you know to like this is a necklace or this is a bracelet this is a keychain so she leaves them unfinished and has like a little board that says you know oh you can get it this way or that way or that way um, and one of the ways would probably um, benefit from having some lobster claws. So that's a good useful item. Next up, we have a very shiny package. Do -do -do -do. And this one is from Malaysia. So a little bit of variety here. And the description of the contents is a bead valued at a whopping 30 cents. Came all the way from Malaysia and it's only worth 30 cents. It's crazy that we live in such a global world now, right? That this is even an option. <laughs> and it's another lobster claw, but this one is um, jeweled, bedazzled, um, so that it's kind of shiny and fun looking. I believe I've gotten one of these before in the last video, so they must really like sending me little claws. <laughs> Next up, let's see here. Let's get C 
see if we can't feel for something that seems strange. Ooh, maybe this one. Got At least it's bigger than a lobster claw. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is from Thailand. Uh, and it is described as an acrylic decoration. And the value is US $1. So... What is one dollar worth of decoration look like? Okay. So it's like a ribbon, basically, that is made from some sort of natural fiber, a rope, perhaps hemp. Um, and it's got um, maybe like, it's probably plastic in between to kind of turn it into Maybe not necessarily a flexible, but a movable band. So, I don't have an immediate use for it, but I was thinking of doing a series of um, ornaments. You know, Christmas is coming up and I don't have a lot of craft shows to go to uh, with the pandemic going on and everything. And that might make Maybe it's a little too wide. I don't know, I'll play with this one. This might actually come in handy. But um, at any rate, I figured maybe if I made a whole bunch of like simple ornaments that I can get some uh, Etsy cells going. Um, I don't tend to sell very well online. Definitely better in person. I don't know if that's, you know, personality. Or if it's just that with the felting, you kind of need to see it like in person and see the fuzziness and feel it uh, to really understand the value because, you know, they are handmade, so they're more expensive than, you know, what you get down at Walmart, right? Um, and I think in person, people can see that and they're like, okay, I will pay the money for this. Whereas online, and we've all gotten scammed online, right? It's not like I'm a big enough name to uh, be uh, known, right? <laughs> um, but anyways, if I can get some like cheap things, not like cheap, you know, like bad, or just less expensive things into my Etsy shop, I'm wondering if maybe I can drive more people, you know, because once you get a couple of good reviews, it kind of is supposed to snowball. Um, and I did actually have one of my lovely, lovely listeners. This was a little while ago. Um, but she bought some prints from my shop. And I thought that that was a great, great honor. And she was kind enough to leave a review too. So that was super helpful. It just warms my heart that, um, you know, because I, I, I talk to you guys and I do the videos, right? Um, but I don't really... I don't know, I don't push it very hard. It's just kind of like a side thing that I do. Um, so it really warms my heart that people care so much. So thank you, everybody. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. The uh, country looks like it got a little blurried out here. I'm not sure. Oh, I can just, just barely make it out. It's Thailand. Uh, so another thing from there. The description is beads rope and it's valued <laughs> is valued at one penny <laughs> all right so it's some um, seed beads which I mean they probably don't cost much to make but if you went down to Michael's and bought a little package of them be it worth at least two dollars for a little package like this um and ironically actually maybe not right are maybe not ironically but um fortunately enough um some of the um what you might call it ornaments that i was thinking about making i was thinking about maybe doing some embroidery on felt sheets um, like this instead of doing needle felting because uh, embroidery is at least on a small scale it's a little faster um, for me to do 
Uh, but anyways, the pattern I was looking at called for seed beads. So this might be a sign, right? You know, I got the ribbon and I got the beads. This might be my sign that the ornament idea is A+. Plus. <laughs> So I'm kind of, I'm feeling encouraged that the universe is, is saying, yes, go do this thing. Although, to be fair, the universe also gave me many, many signs that this year would be my, like, biggest year yet crafting, um, or at least selling, right? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, of course, you know, because of the pandemic, I had to cancel, or more more accurately the show's canceled i didn't cancel <laughs> uh -huh. um, but anyways i had lots and lots of selling opportunities and um they all went away and i thought it was just it was very devastating in the beginning but i'm doing better now um the nice thing about having more time to work on projects is that i get to do some of the big stuff that you know, wouldn't necessarily sell right away. So it's good to progress um, artistically because when you do a lot of craft shows, sometimes you do the same thing over and over again because it's faster and you want to make money. But on the artist side of things, you want to do something new and creative and explore techniques. So I get to do a lot of that right now. So um, even, even being stuck at home is a blessing. Uh, in its own right. You gotta be grateful for the way your life ends up. Well, you don't have to, but I recommend it. <laughs> Anyways, this next package is also from Thailand, so we've got um, quite a few going on there. And the description is gags and practical jokes. And I cut off the value. Let's see if we can't find it here. No, it's lost. The value is lost to the to the universe here. <laughs> so it's a. Um, I've got a nail in my finger uh, thing, although it's pretty poorly done. I don't think this is going to convince anybody. <laughs> it doesn't even fit very well. Let's see, here might be the thumb. There we go. Ah, I've got a nail in my finger. So, not the best quality, but it's kind of fun in a in a cheesy sort of way, right? Can't imagine that that was worth too much money, though. I wish I had saved the little strip. That's what I get for trying to multitask and, and talk and open these up and, and do more talking. <laughs> it's a good thing uh, talking is a positive thing in ASMR, right? So this package is from Kyrgyzstan. So I finally got out of Thailand for a little bit. The description is ribbons and the US value is 39 cents. Let's see some 39 cents worth of ribbon. Huh. You know, that might work for ornaments too. Bum, bum, bum. See, I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to get some good stuff. Or at least some useful items. It's like the rule of the universe. If you decide you don't need something anymore, that's the second it becomes useful, right? Especially if you've already like donated it or told someone you weren't going to be a place. No. What can you do? Next up, we're back in Thailand. Um, and the description is just craft one. <laughs> so uh, no pre-guessing here. I mean, I guess you could try. What do you suppose is craft one? about that. Uh, and the value, this cracks me up. I love the values. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. But the value is one dollar and two cents. <laughs> that two cents, it really matters to some people, right? 
Although I suppose if you mailed, you know, a thousand of these or even, you know, a million of them or something, uh, two cents would add up after a while. And there's a little tiny box inside. I love little tiny boxes. And it's not crushed. I'm always surprised when the mail comes in, you know, when it's from overseas and something like this is still intact. It's, it's impressive to me because I can't imagine they're treating all of the packages really that well. <laughs> and I, um, I got one of these little tiny boxes, um, I don't know, it's a few months back and I held on to it because I'm like, ah, oh, tiny box. I still haven't found a use for it, but one day, right? So anyways, oh, in my little tiny box are some little tiny kitties. Aren't those adorable? That's definitely going to my friend, the resin artist. That is super up her alley. Um, she used to have a black cat whose name was Demon. Um, and from what I heard, it was actually a pretty sweet kitty. I'm not, I can't recall exactly where the name Demon came from. Uh, but I can always remember that it was a black cat because of the name. <laughs> All right, and this one is also from Thailand. Um, seems to be a, a running theme for today. And this is described as ribbons slash beads. And the value is 50 cents. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty too. Might be another, I'm going to have to find out a good way uh, to use these kinds of ribbons in my ornament. Because now I have, you know, a variety of them. You know, blue is a good Christmas color. Red's a good Christmas color. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out this whole ornament business. Next up, we have another one from Thailand. Boy. Bobcat in a box really seems to be favoring the, the the Thai people right now. That could be actually, you know, because of the um, the tariffs. You know, I'm just kind of surprised that I didn't think about that before. But uh, we changed the rules on how to tax stuff from China, so maybe we switched to Thailand as our way to get cheap cheap stuff. Um, but anyways, this is described as charms, U.S. value one dollar and five cents. All right, and those are indeed some charms. They're like little geckos. And you know what? My favorite part about this is that, so you have like the top of the gecko. Let's see if I can kind of show you that without taking it out of the package here. Um, but it also has a texture on the belly. Oops. It also has a texture on the belly too. So if your little bead gets turned around, uh, it's not all flat and boring looking. I definitely think my friend who is the resin artist uh, would have a use for those. Those are actually pretty good. I knew, I knew I was going to get good stuff. <laughs> Next up, we have something from China. Of course, as soon as I say it makes sense not to get Chinese stuff, I get something from China. The description is home decoration. And the value is $2. This is, I have a hard time believing that there's $2 worth of stuff in there. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't cut right there. can't tell. It's so thin, whatever the item is, but I think I might have accidentally cut it a little bit. Let's, let's try to find a different way to do this here. Oh my goodness, I'm just making this way harder than it <laughs> needs to be. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And... Huh. So this is a little like... Uh, die cut pr 
press type thing, but it has a bunch of nonsense on it. C23 EBPA Pi R? I have no idea what that means. I wonder if it's like custom text, but because a shopping robot bought it for me, they just inputted random stuff. Like maybe that's a passcode to something. <laughs> like maybe that's like its password to get into one of the accounts or something. That's, um, that's kind of bizarre. Uh, I definitely don't have a use for that. So now I'm not feeling so bad. <laughs> Next up. We have a package from Kyrgyzstan. So at least it's not Thailand, right? <laughs> and the description is lace, which is valued at 56 cents US. Uh -huh. When I heard lace, I was thinking more like white bridal lace. So this is kind of nice, actually. There's not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, good news is that typically I don't need a lot of this sort of thing for my craft projects. Like, um, I'll make caterflies, which is a cross between a caterpillar and a butterfly. And sometimes I'll use lace kind of in between the, the wings to give it a more feminine touch. So this could easily make, I don't know, like 10 caterflies. So I think I'll have a use for this. Uh, yet again, something that's actually useful. Next up, this one is from China. Uh, and the description says fabric. So not ribbons, although it's probably ribbons, but fabric. And it is valued at $1 US. <laughs> well, that's not fabric or ribbons. That is some feathers. You know what's kind of funny about this is that um, I had read somewhere that um, craft feathers are often not humanely sourced. Like some of the best craft feathers has to be plucked from the bird while the bird is still kicking, uh, which is just unfortunate. Um, but anyways, I don't want to make you too sad, but what's interesting is that I do, um, use feathers in a lot of my felting, but I've learned how to make them out of wool, um, basically wool wire and a little bit of, um, fabric heat bond. Um, and I just got done making a whole bunch of feathers. Let me go show you. So these are my handmade feathers. Up close, you can definitely uh, tell the difference, but um, kind of from far away, they look pretty good in my opinion. And I can make them in whatever color of wool I have, so um, there's a lot of options. The sky's the limit, right? I'm actually going to be making a uh, dragon flamingo here sometime this month. That's what all the, the pinky feathers are for. Um, and I am going to be doing a video on felting here soon. Um, I promised a bonus video um, for when I hit 300 subscribers. And we are, um, at the time of, of recording this, I am nine subscribers away from uh, hitting that mark is super exciting, right? Um, so I'm going to do a felting video and hopefully uh, it won't be too boring. I I really love the craft, but it does take a lot of um, repetition and patience, which maybe makes it a good, good source material for felting or um, ASMR. Maybe. <laughs> Moving along, we are back in Thailand for this uh, particular uh, package. It is labeled as a garment accessory for $1 US. What is 
<laughs> oh, that's cute, actually. So this is a um, little mold. It's a resin mold for um, uh, making charms. And I think with this one, you make this part out of resin and then you put um, confetti in the center there and you close it up and you can make like a little shaker. I've seen people do this. Um, I'm not quite familiar with how you would seal it up. My brain would imagine that there's like another piece, but maybe you just make two of them and like sandwich them together with more resin. But at any rate, I do think that my um, resin crafter of a friend will enjoy that. So she's going to get lots of little knickknacks for Christmas. And she's the type of person that loves getting like lots and lots of presents, even if they're like cheesy, cheap things. Um, in fact, she knows that's the best way to get a lot, a lot of presents. <laughs> I think it's just the process of getting them and opening them that's the important part like obviously they still need to be something that she enjoys but a big part of her enjoyment is just opening them so sometimes you have to wrap like one little package of beads by itself <laughs> okay so this next one is from Solomon Island um, I think that's the first time we've seen them uh, in this uh, particular video, so shout out to Solomon Island. And it is labeled as a balloon, valued at 30 cents, which actually kind of sounds expensive for a balloon, but as we can see, it's actually one of those large mylar balloons. I won't... Uh, unfold the whole thing but it looks like a happy birthday balloon so if I ever get a helium tank that would be useful right the um, dollar stores here in town or at least there's a chain of them called Dollar Tree they always have like a little balloon stand where you can um, you know pre-order a dozen balloons for you know like twelve dollars right um, and looking at the price of this, I can kind of understand why. Because if they um, valued a single one at 30 cents, if you're importing them in bulk, it's probably like 10 cents worth of, of mylar, right? So they're probably making a pretty tidy profit on those. Next up, Solomon Island again. Hmm. You know, it's funny, I just put these in at any old random pattern, right? Just as I get them, I toss them in there. Uh, but it always feels like they like lead up to something, like there's a, a reason for the, the, um, the pattern. Uh, but anyways, this is an acrylic decoration B14, whatever that means. And this is valued at, valued at $2. That's kind of expensive for this stuff. <laughs> so what is worth $2? It is a little wire stand. Um, let's see if I can get it out of the package here. So I don't know about $2, but it is kind of neat. It's like a little note holder or a photo holder. So like if this was my photograph, which, you know, it's just a piece of trash, but that's okay. <laughs> you can kind of clip it in right there and it'll stand up. And it's like a unicorn or maybe a princess. A unicorn princess. I'm trying to figure out what that shape is because it reads more, you know, princessy. Is that like her crown? That is, I don't know, maybe she is a princess with a cowlick. <laughs> just a little piece of hair that like flies up and she can't do anything with it. <laughs> now I'm inventing stories for random pieces of wire. It's probably a good sign that uh, this is our last item. 
uh, wrapping up our bobcat in a box videos here and this one is also from Thailand um, let's see here home decoration it seems to be a popular descriptor these days and it's valued at one dollar US oh. I cut it but I didn't cut it where the actual uh, bag ended here there we go bum, bum, bum. and it is some braided cord here which uh, you know kind of has almost like candy cane stripes going on so another winner for potentially making my ornaments out of I feel like um, I, this is all the sign that I need gotta make me some ornaments <laughs> and that concludes my final bobcat in a box video um, I have no plans yet for a reoccurring series um, trying to find something that's not food related although my food stuff is definitely the most popular videos but I'll figure it out uh, who knows maybe the Feltine video when I do the the bonus one ends up being a regular old series or something right um, grocery haul is gonna be coming up in another week or so so you guys won't have to wait too too long for that thank you to Kate's and Allen all one username uh, them new guys uh, Evelyn Lopez just to name a few um, I get so many comments and, and wonderfulness now that I can't shout out to everybody but just know I read them and I appreciate them a lot um, yeah, I suppose that's a uh, good as note as any to end it on. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you some other time. Good night.